lot of times when people try to take a successful TV show and make a movie out of it, the number one complaint is that it just seems like a longer version of an episode. But with DuckTales, it kind of makes sense because every episode was kind of like a mini movie. So, why not make an actual movie out of it? In this case, it definitely pays off and it's kind of a shame it doesn't get more attention than it deserves. It's funny because this came out near the same time as The Rescuers Down Under, another adventurous Disney film that doesn't get enough attention. It has all the great animation, the characters you remember, a lot of great action, a few good jokes. It's an enjoyable family film. Scrooge McDuck and the gang are on the search for the treasure of Kali Baba, get it? But their tour guide, named Dijon, is working for an evil sorcerer named Murloc, played by Christopher Lloyd. Just keep searching while I hunt outside! They will not escape! He knows that the real treasure of Kali Baba lies in this magic lamp, and that with his magic talisman that can turn him into any animal, can combine it with the lamp to get unlimited wishes. The lamp, however, falls out of his hands, and instead into the hands of Huey, Dewey, Louie, and Webby who discovered the crazy genie inside, played by Rip Taylor. He's zany and goofy, of course, and befriends the kids very quickly. Once Scrooge discovers it, he uses it, of course, for greedy means. And while being chased down by the evil sorcerer, he discovers what truly matters and blah blah blah, action, learning a lesson, all that good stuff. Okay, so there's no groundbreaking morals that are to be learned here, but that's not what DuckTales was all about. In fact, DuckTales wasn't even as much about action as it was adventure. And this is a really enjoyable adventure. I feel like all the characters we've grown to love get the proper amount of screen time that they deserve. Christopher Lloyd is menacing of course as the villain, and Rip Taylor is an adequate genie. I do feel bad because shortly after a much funnier Disney genie would pop about that nobody could really compete with. But for something that's more focused on kids and family and not really adult jokes, I think he works okay. It's fine because the animation on the show was already pretty impressive, so they had to up it even more for the movie, and it really looks good. The only thing that might raise a few eyebrows is the character of Dijon. I don't know, is this an offensive character now? Oh, good sonny, ah, what a time we have been having, yes, I was just now leaving, goodbye. Back then, nobody thought twice about it, but nowadays with people's sensitivities, I'm not sure if this could be taken the wrong way or not. I mean, he does have a thick accent, and he is a thief. I personally never thought they were saying anything about an entire race, but maybe that's why it never got such a major DVD release. I don't know, he's fine by me, but some people might take it a different way. Like I said before, it's just one big DuckTales episode, but we all really like the DuckTales episodes and what they had to give us, and here it is on a grand scale. I'd be lying if I said it was as good as the original few episodes that were tied together in the beginning. But hey, we're doing a movie now, and you gotta play by movie rules, and for playing by movie rules, I think this film does really well. And it's entertaining, and it's engaging. Does it have a ton of adult stuff? Not especially, I'd say it's more family-oriented. But there's nothing wrong with that. It's done well, it's done creatively, and it's a whole lot of fun. So if you liked the show growing up or you're a big fan of adventure, this is definitely one to check out.